Why don't your disciples fast? Good Saturday morning. On the surface, this seems like a simple enough question about fasting. Jesus is in the middle of a feast with tax collectors and sinners, and the difference between that behavior and the apparently more disciplined life of John the Baptist and even the Pharisees is quite stark. Why do Jesus' disciples go to parties instead of fasting? Jesus' answer is clear. They don't fast now because he's still with them, the bridegroom. But there will come a time when they do fast, when he is taken away from them. But the context of the question also allows Jesus to tell a parable, a story which illustrates a spiritual truth of great importance. Clearly, Jesus is bringing something new into the world and into the into their lives, if they'll accept it. This new thing, it's strange and unfamiliar and controversial. How are they to understand it? These two parables, first the new garment and then the new wineskins, are told to make a single point. To accept the new wine of the gospel, we ourselves must become new wineskins. We must be, as we learned in John chapter 3, born again. There must be a complete change, not just a superficial acceptance. We must become new, not merely experience some new thing. A new message which does not correspond with the work of the Spirit in creating a new person, it'll only tear the garment or split the wineskin. We need new wineskins for this new wine. He also adds a telling remark at the end. And no one after drinking old wine desires new, for he says the old is good. If someone enjoys the experience of the old way of doing things, their pre-Christ life, then it's much harder for them to accept the new wine. What is needed is not simply the new wine. They need an entirely new wine skin. Which brings us to the application. Do we simply experience the new wine of the gospel or have we also become new wineskins? Do we leave Christ to, as it were, just occupy some corner of our mind or heart or a little piece of our lifestyle? Or has Christ become our everything? Is our religion the kind that marginalizes Christ and treats the religious duty as something we do based on our preferences or the way things have always been done? Or is our faith radically transformed by the power of Christ and his word so that we are transformed into entirely new wineskins? Lord, today, as we drink of the new wine of the gospel, may our, may our lives, the, the wineskins that we are, be transformed. Change us and use us for your glory, we pray, in the holy name of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. God bless you. See you tomorrow.